I hope that this is somewhat interesting. It's not about electronics. It's about in a very very simple way about chemistry and then especially about one unit that is used in uh, chemistry and that is the crystallization disk here. Um, the aim of such a disk is this. You have a fluid where say for instance certain salts are immersed uh, you put them into that disk and then evaporation starts uh, with the help of heat or not and afterwards you can find uh, that of course depends completely on the chemical reaction you can find uh, crystals here inside um, uh, that are say caused by the chemical reaction Normally it's a concave piece of porcelain or glass. Glass, I, I say here glass, but in the past I only had them um, in porcelain, but anyway. Porcelain. So, uh, when you are poor, and we know uh, that all these chemical um, say instruments are extremely expensive when you want to do serious experiments in chemistry um, you can for instance try to make such a crystallization disk yourself and this is the way that I've done it of course this is not concave it's a plain piece of thin glass and here there is a layer of silicon Silicon kit, by the way, a, a kind of dike, and you can put in your uh, fluid here and then let it evaporate. Of course, due to the say the silicon layer here, it cannot be e evaporated on high temperatures, but any way. Well, I'm doing this experiment, and in, in all these cases. I will try to get out a substance and I will put the fluids here into this uh, uh, crystallization disk and then let it evaporate and see what kinds of crystals I can get, I can make here. You can make such a uh, disk, not a disk, in this case is it, it is uh, it's not a disc, but anyway, um, with the help of silicon kit, I had a very, very old tube here that was almost completely cured. So I had to take out, with the help of a screwdriver, some silicon kit to make this um, here, this wall, this dike. But of course, when you have a good uh, silicon kit tube you can press that here and get here a kind of caterpillar of silicon kit and then well it will all be done thanks for watching it's very simple very simple it's only a first ID perhaps there will be better IDs and perhaps I will tell more about my experiment in the future but not at this moment Thanks for watching. And these are, by the way, the test tubes where I am, say, um, solve zinc into certain acids, etc. Not only acids, but anyway. And well, uh, that's the experiment. Thanks for watching.